as a young person, we just uh, push the life, you know. We're still looking forward to be strong, stronger than the one we are now. And I close off my mind, and I'm dreaming to be a good person in the future. Achiro is from South Sudan, the world's newest nation. She has known war all her life and has dedicated herself to promoting peace. While the South Sudanese cast their ballots in a historic vote in 2011 that caused them to separate from Sudan and become their own country, youth like Achiro are now faced with building a nation still scarred by the wounds of war and the threat of violence. Achiro is A-C-H-I-R-O. This is Achiro. Her full name is Josephine Achiro Fartello. That's her niece, Asinta. This is her sister, Sarah. And that's her little sister, Pasca. They live with her father here in the heart of the city of Juba, the capital of South Sudan in East Africa. In the mornings, everyone gets up and helps Achiro with the chores. She is the woman of the house and has been since her mother passed away when she was young. But she remains strong and helps take care of her little brothers and sisters. After all the morning chores are done, Achiro gets dressed and gets ready to go to school. She goes to school here at the Catholic University of Sudan. The Catholic University of Sudan was founded in 2008 and Achiro is one of the university's first students. They teach business administration and economics. Achiro is one of the lucky ones. The war made it impossible for most to go to school. As a result, 75% of South Sudanese can't read. Achiro loves her education. And she loves her henna tattoos, which announce to others that she is engaged to be married. She gets them done here at her local salon, and they are temporary, so after a month, they'll fade away, and then she'll come back. Achiro earns the money for her tattoos along with her schooling and that of her nieces from her job, which also gives her the opportunity to build peace. Her job is working at Radio Bikita. Radio Bikita is one of 10 radio stations that make up Sudan Catholic Radio Network. Catholic Relief Services helped create radio stations and towers in all 10 Catholic dioceses in southern Sudan. This was done to help broadcast messages of peace to the South Sudanese before, during, and after the vote for the nation's independence. Bakita Radio is the first Catholic radio station in Juba, uh, also in Sudan. We teach peace uh, through Radio Bakita in different ways. We understand that in our community we, we may find people who, I mean, they will not get time to go to the church. We get some priests to come and preach to them. Through that, uh, we will bring them and we'll tell them the fact about the things that is happening. Achiro is a devout Catholic and heavily involved in the church. It's provided most of her opportunities in life. It was the church that educated her and also provided her with the training to work at Radio Bikita. She also loves to sing in the choir. I put God in front of me. I, I used to hear people say to me, you are a nice woman, you know, you, you, you are courageous, a strong woman. As a Christian, you have to be an example. Achiro, guided by her Catholic faith, believes in the good in others and she believes in her generation. She believes peace is possible and that it is a journey that begins and continues with each person. The vote in 2011 was a huge step, but for there to be peace between Sudan and South Sudan, it will require everyone in the world making daily choices for peace. Young people are playing a big role to come together with our friends, to come together with uh, the, our neighboring countries. I help you, you help me, you know, that will be good. I'm very happy with uh, the organization of CRS for having given me uh, this chance to share with, um, uh, with them my experience and what has happened in my life. What are the wars in your life?